Keith Finnegan Show in association with Yates College. Always only independent second level college. Visit yatescollege.ie. Now, very good morning to you. With you until twelve midday. Let's continue with our uh, election coverage, and I'm joined in the studio uh, by Frank Fahey. Uh, Frank, good morning to you. Morning, Keith. Thanks for joining us. How is your campaign going, by the way? My campaign is going very well. Uh, I'm up against it. Uh, easiest thing would have been to walk away. But I decided after 29 years I would fight and uh, let the people of Galway decide it. Why did you decide to fight? Why not walk away? Because, Keith, I'd given too much of my life to public service. Uh, I've, I have a work in progress. I'm involved in many great projects in the city at the moment. I want to see them through. And I wasn't going to be intimidated out of politics by a small group of people who have been trying to destroy me. And uh, also, indeed, when I talked with a lot of people, they said, look, we need the experience. We need somebody up there in the next door who will ensure that Galway continues to grow, that the progress we we have made will be safeguarded and I suppose that's what I bring to the table is that I've been there, I've made great relationships with people in departments, I've built up goodwill I hope I have respect uh, across agencies and departments in Dublin and in the next all you'll have 105, 110 uh, people in government you're likely to have 35 maybe in Fianna Fáil, Uh, it is essential that I provide a strong voice for Galway against probably a lot of people who are in for the first time and maybe don't have as much experience. Okay, can I just give you some of the quick fire arms that are coming in? Last uh, year, Frank Fahey said on the radio that the motorway from Tum to Gort would start immediately after Christmas. Uh, last week in the Connacht Tribune, he stated it would take at least another six months before the contracts would be signed. How are we expected to vote for someone who keeps changing their promise? No, I didn't say that. Another politician did and he was wrong. Uh, yes, the AR, NRA announced during the opening of the Gort to Christian bypass that the contract would be signed in January. That has been slightly delayed because the banks involved uh, haven't got their finances in order because of the sovereign debt situation but as Sean Kenny said there the preferred tender has been chosen it's a 600 million project I had to ensure that Brian Cowan and Brian Lenahan about three months ago put it into the programme, it's in the programme it's a PPP, it will go ahead and I can tell you no more than the Dublin to Galway motorway and the outer bypass, it is one of the major projects Keith, that I want to be in the next doll to ensure that it is delivered Okay, are you proud, sorry I'm just looking at two screens here, one of them says, are you proud of what Fianna Fáil and what you've achieved uh, over the last number of years? Yes, it's not all your fault that the economy has collapsed the way it has but you didn't know and see it coming well, look, we, we made mistakes in the boom time. I, I admitted to that at the public meeting that I held. I explained how we made those mistakes, but I'm satisfied that we've done the right things and the hard things since July 2008. They have hurt people. People are very angry. You know, all of the charges, the extra tax, the public service pay and so on. Look, these have been difficult, and, and but they are necessary to, to rectify the situation. And no matter who's in government, Keith, these decisions have to be taken to get us out of the crisis we're in. We are coming out of that crisis because we've taken the pain up front. We will be much better, much quicker, and then we'll be able to reduce again the extra costs that we've put on people. Okay, can I ask you here, can, two questions and I'm putting them together. Can you ask Frank Fahey, what is holding up the uh, outer city bypass? That's from Tom. And uh, Keith, question to Frank Fahey, was his trip to Brussels about the outer bypass a further waste of time and money? No, in fact, the trip to Brussels was the most successful thing that's happened so far about the bypass. Keith, there's a hectare and a half of limestone pavement. Do you see it up there on that hill? Yeah. And there's a, two hectares of bog cotton in Tonabrucky Bog. And you have two government agencies at the moment in the Supreme Court. What is, that's what's holding it up. We went to Brussels with the Galway Chamber and the American Chamber and the officials in Brussels who have the final say on this told us they will turn around this project in six months. So it is going to happen. We are now making efforts. In fact, the AG at the moment is now looking at a, a joint approach by the NRA Galway County Council and the National Parks and Wildlife people so that when they go back into the Supreme Court, they will agree the problem. And it's about an interpretation of a European directive. But what about the people who don't want this bypass? What about the likes of um, the other politicians who have sat in that very seat that you're in? They're saying there's other options uh, rather than a bypass. What about the hands across the car group who don't want this to happen? There are very few people who don't want it to happen. The Labour Party don't want it to happen. They voted against it in the Senate recently. Catherine Connolly doesn't want it to happen. She says 25 million will solve the problem. Keith, the Galway transportation and planning study, Galway City Council and Galway County Council together in 1999 drew up an integrated transport plan for Galway, which involves a very significant public transport initiative. The Galway Outer Bypass was part of that. All of the expertise has gone in. 
12 million over 10 years to plan the only way we can put a bypass in place. It's not going to be changed. The route, there might be very slight changes. It's going to cost about 300 million. It will be done. And there are very few people against it. And the, the, the signs I'm putting up at the moment uh, around the place is getting a great reaction. People want to see this new bridge built. They want the bypass. And when the bypass comes, and in, indeed even before, the other job I've been working on is building bus lanes into the city centre, putting on 10-minute frequencies. Look at the double-deckers coming in from Jokishka. They are full mm. every 10, 15 minutes because we have to have an integrated approach. There are 20,000 cars a day, Keith Finnegan, going across that bridge there who do not need to go near it. Mm-hmm. And this bypass will take them out of it. Can I ask you about health then? Because the place is flooded with health. I mean, are you proud of what Fianna Fáil failed to do when it came to health? And do you agree with the Fianna Gael policy now to change and abolish the HSE? I'm glad Fine Gael are putting it back for five or ten years because it'll never happen. Keith, I'm extremely... Putting back what for five or ten years? They're, they're selling us this new plan they have won't happen for at least five years. I'm extremely proud of what we've done in health. We have the finest hospital in Europe in, in, in UCHG and we have spent massive money there. I've been intimately involved bringing back consultants, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, r- uh, cardiac surgery. Now there are difficulties in A&E and now David O'Keefe and John Hennessy and the new team down there are going to sort that out through the reconfiguration project. How long is that going to take? I will, be, I will be announcing next week, and the Taoiseach himself is working on this for me now, a major initiative, a new eight-storey block in, in, in UCHD in Newcastle Road, and uh, costing £52 million and a 25 million refurb of Merlin Park to make it a daycare and elective hospital so that people who don't need to go into Newcastle Road won't go there. They will go to Belnesloe, they'll go to Roscommon, they will go to Merlin Park. And will and that be approved before the election? Well, look, at it, it's a work in progress and I'm not making it as, as, as an election promise. What's happening on it at the moment is there's intensive negotiations going on for the past 12 months within the HSE, with the Department of Finance, with the Department of Health and I, I, I will next week be hopefully able to make an announcement about what exactly is going to happen. Okay, we're disillusioned with every politician that knocks on our door. Um, can Frank Fahey and the other politicians understand this disillusionment? Of course I can, Keith. I, I'm dealing with it every day. I've always knocked on doors, by the way. Uh, never stopped. I'm dealing with my office. People losing their jobs. My own family have, we've had experiences of, people, of, of, of members losing their jobs. People not able to pay their mortgages. By the way, there's a very significant package now to help people who are not able to pay their mortgages. People in trouble with the banks, small businesses uh, uh, having cash flow problems. Sure, there are serious problems all over the place and we are getting it on the neck, no question about it. But when you explain to people that it was necessary once the, the the crisis happened to take difficult action. I am absolutely convinced, Keith, that we are coming out of this problem now because we've taken the pain up front. The, the Spaniards, for instance, and the Portuguese only knocked 5% off their property prices. We knocked 70%, which meant that the banks had to undergo si- significant losses. So we will come out of this crisis quickly. Look, at Galway is growing at the moment. Six new companies announced before, before Christmas. And, and it's all down, Keith, to the university, GMIT, and the education we have here. We are producing jobs now. Companies are coming in because we are way ahead in terms of technology, innovation. Look at the Remedy project in, in, in the university. Look at the Dairy project. They're, they're, they're researching the next generation of the semantic web. The Remedy project is regenerative medicine. And listen, Keith, that's where the jobs are coming from. Okay. We have the biggest uh, biopharma and biomedical sector in Europe here in Galway and it's grown exponentially at the moment and people are now trying to take credit for something that a lot of us have worked on over the years painlessly okay. and you're going to see major announcements in Galway over the next number of months and years. Can you ask Frank Fahey why did Fianna Fáil give away the gas field for nothing? Why did Ray Bork meet the representatives of Shell on his own with no one else present and when the deal was done can you ask Frank Fahey to answer this question? This is the Shell to Sea crowd now that have tried to destroy me over the years and the two questions are completely wrong. In fact it was Bobby Mlai who set the terms and the terms will give us billions of taxes out of the Corrib gas. There's no such thing as giving it away for free. Some of these fellas want the state to go out looking for oil, which would be a stupid thing to do. We're very lucky to have got the gas, because our gas supply is coming from Russia at the moment, and you know how volatile that is. So, Keith, I'm very proud of one thing I've done. 
I approved the Corrib Gas Project, which had been approved before me, right back to Bami Malai's time as Minister for Energy. It has resulted in gas pipelines going into every town in the west of Ireland. It has resulted in electricity now being generated for the first time in the west of Ireland. It is the best thing that ever happened to Mayo. And there's a small group of Shell to Sea and other crowds, uh, you know, uh, eco-warriors uh, that are against it. And not many more. There are some genuine people, but very few. Okay. But I want to tell them this. They are trying to do me at the moment. They're taking down my posters. They're putting up posters around the town about me. There's a warrior here, Keith, that they will not intimidate and that they will not beat. And they will not beat the people of Galway who are beckoning me to hold on to this seat against all the odds. All right. Uh, just somebody said, we asked Frank Fahey, is it true that Fianna Fáil members removed opponents' posters in the Renmore area two nights ago? Have you any knowledge of that? Absolutely not. And if they did, I'd kick them out. All right. Why should they vote for Frank Fahey? Well, why should they vote for Frank Fahey? Because I will be the most effective TD representing the people of Galway in the next stall. As I said, I've built up the relationships. I have the experience. I know my way around. I've been involved in projects like the bypass, like the work in the hospital, like the work in the university where there are four projects going on at the moment to cost 100 million. I have looked after people. Keith, I answer my phone. I answer my phone all the time to everybody. My, my constituency office is the busiest office and the most efficient office. Unfortunately, it will close on the 25th of February if I don't get re-elected. And I know that I will produce more over the next few years for Galway if I am re-elected.